96 MK Kill Rocks, Jimbo here, hanging out with Chris Ariel at Two Feathers Gym, getting ready for a big weekend, aren't we? Hell yeah. It's an extremely important weekend yes. for the whole Inland Empire, man. You're going to represent proudly. I, I know you are. I have to, man. Inland Empire, got to stand up. Got to come and, and who are we fighting? Some kid named Bermain Yeah. And what did he say at the press conference? He said, he said chop my head off, man. Really? Yeah, but, you know, I, I've seen worse. You know, I'm Mexican, you know. We yeah. put bodies in duffel bags and fill it up with acid. Yeah! <laughs> I like this is gonna be a good fight. Exactly, man. You know, fine words. You know. Now, do you like it when they uh, when they talk a little smack, or do you like the respectful press conference? No, what do you like? I, I, I need somebody to talk smack. It just it just puts me up to another fuels level. It. it fuels it like a motherfucker. You know. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear somebody tell me, "Oh, you're a good fighter, this and that," because then it makes me not want to hit the guy. It makes me feel bad for the guy. So if you get a little bit angry, you're gonna give it. Yeah, the little exactly. Extra I need that little extra, the little extra umph on me. Ah, uh, no, that's beautiful. Now, in your last fight, you won by what? First round? Yeah, first round knockout. Knockout. Straight right hand to the temple. Now, do you? <laughs> that's beautiful. Now, exactly. do, you, do you prefer it that way, or would you rather you train so hard? Would you like to go a few more rounds, uh, or you take it as it comes? I don't get paid for overtime, so the sooner I'm, it, he gets out of it, the better. Beautiful. Because that way I can get outside, go get my dinner, and get me some beers. There you go, baby. <laughs> it's been a while. Now, you got the nickname the Nightmares. Is there anything that gives you nightmares? Like, are you afraid of, like, midgets who smell like cabbage or anything like that, or something? That no, you man. Out? Honestly, my only nightmare is my daughter getting old. That's oh, it. yeah. No, I got yeah, a daughter. Exactly. I can relate. That's the only nightmare. So I'm I, gonna, I know I'm going to have to shoot someone or pull a gun out of someone when I, I get older. I don't know if you can relate, but I, I pray every day to our Lord Jesus Christ that she will become a lesbian. And <laughs> not have to worry about her liking guys. That's why I wanted to play softball. There you can see. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> now, do you ever like, uh, do you ever think about this as maybe a tactic in the ring? Like maybe before you go in, eat like a clove of garlic, so you got like the worst breath, and you are you just let your fist do the talking? No, at all, man. Because you know what? I, I remember like when I spar with the guy and he stinks. It yeah. pisses me off even more. <laughs> I can't stand being in the ring with somebody that stinks. That's right. Well, you make them stink because they're probably running away exactly. from you. Exactly. Okay, now here we go. What do you love more than boxing? Is there anything on this planet that you love more than boxing? Food. Food? I love food, oh, man. What's the worst food you have to give up while you're training? Mexican food, but Mexican. You know, that's not that hard, you know. But I'm a steak guy. I love steak. steak. Any kind of steak, just give me a steak. I'm eating it. Now, what's the biggest steak you've ever eaten? Uh, 48 ounces. Nice. Yeah, well, you... I actually want to go to uh, Armadil Ar Armillo, Armadillo. I've been there, the big Texas. I'm going to try that. I want to go. We're going to take a cross-country trip just to go there. You should do it. It's a 72-ounce steak challenge. I was doing it, and I think I got maybe three-quarters through, and then I had to pull the garbage can over and bleh! Oh, no, no that's me. not going to happen with me. You're going to be able happen. to eat it all? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take all it right. all. All right. Now, quick question here. How many times do you think you could bench press a 130-pound DJ? Uh, you know, 25, 30 times. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. All right, what if he smells like dope, like weed? Is it? Oh, that's even better. Are you better? <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you gonna? What, uh, as you, uh, what are you gonna plan to do to celebrate this victory? Is there something that you have as incentive to to go on a trip or to buy a vehicle or what are you gonna be doing when you? No, nah, the, the main, I'm taking a little a little family cross country trip. You know, drive out to Florida or something like awesome. that. Awesome. Uh, taking the scenery and then fly my ass back and back get back to work. There you go, because the next step, after you represent the IE, you get this victory, what looks like the next big fight? The main thing is for the title. Yes. I got, I got to get this title. That's what this fight's all about. That's why this fight's very important. It's for, you know, the, the mandatory to fight for the world heavyweight champion. Oh, what a great honor that would be. <laughs> It's, it's a blessing, man. Yeah. You know, I had my shot once, but this time I'm not going to let this, you know, slip away from my fingers. Now, what did you learn from last time? What do you think? Uh, why why didn't you get to become heavyweight champion of the world? Oh, an idiot. There you go. You know, honestly, you know, I came in, I came into the training camp weighing 295 pounds. Jeez. And then I weighed in at 251, so I lost 44 pounds in five weeks. Damn, so you're focused exactly. more so than I'm ever. I'm always an idiot, so now I come into training camp like 255. It's a highest. real deal. Yeah, got to come, you know, straight ready. Right on. Well, we're very, very excited excited to see this fight and we say Muhammad Ali proclaimed himself as the greatest. Who do you think is the greatest? Well, Muhammad Ali did his thing. Yes. So you, you gotta respect him. In the heavyweight division, my favorite my favorite heavyweight of all time has to be Lennox Lewis. Right Lennox on. was a great heavyweight champion, man. He, Excellent. He fought who he had to and that guy was just devastating. Did you ever get to meet him? Yeah, plenty of times, man. That guy has big banana hands, man. No <laughs> wonder. <laughs> well, very, very cool. We're very excited to see you kick some ass this weekend. We wish you nothing but the best, and we got two words for you, Chris. You rock! <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. Very cool. Thanks. Very cool. Now back to work.